it's your jelly mama here and today i am working with the fabulous kiki london to bring you this spring mix and match nail design so if you want to know how i achieved this then just keep watching so i'm going to be using some of their gorgeous spring colors from their new collection and from their old um, if you haven't seen their new collection, I can leave a link um, to a video where I've reviewed them so you can go and check those out. They are seriously stunning, but you'll see a lot of them today in this uh, video anyway. So you just want to take a small dotting tool and you are placing these dots very, very randomly. That's what I love about this type of uh, nail art or this part of it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, your skill set, they don't have to be all of the same size and all perfectly placed. And obviously you could do all of your nails all in one go as well. Not, um, but obviously I'm just showing you one nail at a time. So basically you're just picking the colours and, you know, placing them on the nail until it is all, you know, filled in or you've used as many colours that you want to use. Now I know that you're probably thinking, why have you done the whole of the nail if you're going to cut across half of it? And being completely honest, when I initially did this idea, I was just going to leave it with all of the dots on it and not add anything else. And although I thought that it was super cute that way, I didn't particularly think that people would click on the video to see how I how I did it because it'd be fairly obvious. I've just put random dots all over the place. <laughs> so I thought I'd better add a little bit of a, a design to it. And I know mix and match nails are kind of in it as well. So I thought I would add that aspect to it. So you could, if you knew exactly where you were going to put, you know, the block colour, you could just do half your nail that way. But yeah, but I, I love the simplicity of this. Like, you know, you don't have to have really good nail art skills to achieve this money. And I think everybody starts out with dots, don't they, when they uh, are doing nail art. It's much easier than stripes. Um, and I know obviously you can do like shadow dots and lots of different dots, but yeah. I mean, I do think this looks gorgeous as it is and this is kind of how it looked all together and that's like I say it was, was how I was going to leave it but then I decided that it just needed something else. So obviously because I have um, put dots all over it I didn't want the blocked colour to be sort of bumpy you know with the odd um, you know dot that was higher than the other so I'm actually coming in with the rubber uh, top coat just to make sure that it is completely smooth. So you don't even need any sort of nail brushes or anything like that with this because you can just literally take it straight across your nail and, you know, swipe down. Obviously, if you get anything on your skin, um, then you just wipe it off with some isopropyl alcohol and a, a cleanup brush before you pop it into your lamp. So that's how I did the other nails and the colours that I used. And if you want to add more, then I'm just going to add some shapes. Again, I am using dots to map out where I want them. I find this really helps me with nail art, just as a bit of a guide to work with. And then basically you can kind of like drag those dots together and then fill it in. And then I'm just going to be placing small dots across that line just to kind of finish it all off and add more dots because obviously I didn't have enough before. <laughs> but that is basically what I did. I just put them in different orders on the rest of the nails. And then you just want to seal it all in with your top coat. And this is the end look. I'm really happy with it. I think it's super cute. Uh, I love all the spring colours together. So here is some inspiration. You know, maybe if you've brought the spring collection, but you're not quite sure how to do designs with them. Hopefully this has inspired you. If you do decide to recreate it, please tag us in on Instagram. Um, Kiki London's Instagram details are on the screen and I'd love to see them too. So tag me in on Instagram at Jellylicious. Um, so yeah, so that is it from me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please press that free subscribe button if you've not done so. Give this video a thumbs up and we always love to read your comments. But until next time, take care. Bye.